Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is MJ Pinky. I'm a writer and writing consultant. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my process for editing chapter 26. So this chapter is a total rewrite from the first draft that I finished in NaNoWriMo 2020. And it's a total rewrite for a couple of reasons. The main one being the changes that I made to chapter 23 put this character in a totally different location and around totally different people. That's the first reason for the rewrite. The second reason for the rewrite, this character's personality has dramatically changed. And so I need to incorporate those changes and make sure that what he is doing and what he is saying and how he is acting is consistent with how I have established him so far in this draft. The third reason why if you watch my chapter 25 edit video, I discussed how there's a conversation with the deity that has to move to another character in a different chapter. This is the chapter it moves to, and this is the character that's going to have this conversation now. The reasons why this conversation happens, that has also changed. So there's a lot of changes happening with this chapter, and this is where this character's behavior and motivations and goals really shift for the rest of the book and even into the second book. So I mentioned that one of the main reasons why this is a rewrite is because of the setup that I did in chapter 23. This is why editing is so hard because once you realize a flaw in your draft and you start to correct it, it snowballs into future chapters. Um, and I'm just, this is a little pep talk don't get discouraged and don't give up. This is part of the process. It's hard. Sometimes you have to cut out complete chapters. Sometimes you have to totally rewrite multiple chapters. Sometimes you have to change character personalities, which in turn snowballs into other chapters that you've written with that character. That's all part of the process. Don't get discouraged and don't give up. Um, just keep on going. It's going to make your book so much better and it's going to improve your writing and make it a, not only a marketable book, but just a better read and something that the reader is gonna be able to connect with much better. Because if you are identifying these issues, then your reader is definitely going to identify these issues and either stop reading or just really not enjoy it as much as they want to. So don't give up, keep going. The snowball effect is real. Just go into editing with the mindset that that's going to happen. Um, it can happen in a big way or in smaller ways. Just keep going. Okay, so pep talk over. My challenge with this chapter is the conversation that he has with the deity. That's, that's really all that's happening in this chapter is this conversation. My challenge here has been to craft the dialogue in such a way that brings out the motivations of this character and helps him realize why he needs to go in a different direction. Major behavior changes like this need a catalyst, especially in writing. People don't just wake up and just automatically, boom, like I'm gonna be a different person today, I'm gonna have different goals and different motivations. It just doesn't really work like that. Even if you have seen things building up over time, it still, for like a major thing like that, it really takes a catalyst event for someone to completely change their behavior for the rest of the book and go in a totally different direction. So this dialogue, this conversation is the big challenge for me in this chapter, making it realistic, making it believable, and making it to where this character is a likable character because this is technically the main main character of my book and so um this chapter is really going to be pivotal in the reader wanting to root for this character for the rest of the series that i'm planning so um that's really all I have for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. So we will see how the critique group receives this chapter. I've had really good, really positive feedback from my critique group about the other changes I've made with this character and how I've restructured him. So I'm encouraged by that and I'm hoping that this chapter is going to land where it needs to. So I will have a future video with their comments and feedback. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in a future video. Happy writing.